Dr. Lori V and I, Carol Erickson, are at the Animal Lifeline thrift store in Warrington, and I, being an animal, I, I love this swan. I thought this could be maybe more valuable than the $3 price tag. What do you think? I think you'll learn more about what's valuable and what's not on this episode of Value This with Dr. Lori. They've got everything here. They've got clothes and they've got objects and all of the proceeds go to Animal Lifeline and they do great things for, uh, for animals. And in fact, their website, so I get that out there, is animallifelinepa.org. And thrift stores are many times set up for this kind of thing where, where they donate the money from whatever you bring in and they sell to some great charity. And that's what they've certainly got here, Dr. Lori. A great charity, a wonderful cause. We're lucky to be here. We're gonna find some cool stuff. Yes. you have already told me that I need to find what over here? We're all looking for the treasure. Yes. Right? right? We're treasure hunters. Yes. And I said to you, when I looked here and I said, well, Carol can find three things that are more valuable than their price tags. Okay. So I'm going to let you shop. Okay. And so from this row up, and you did not give me a hint at all. No hints. We're no not hints giving any hints. <laughs> I chose this one because it says made in Japan, and I think that makes it more valuable. Okay. I could be totally wrong. Okay. This one, a shoe because it says made in Holland. A little cl clog. A little clog. Yeah. And then the other thing that I think was valuable, and it's only because I saw you walk over with it, I would have walked right past it, okay. this thing, because I don't like it. If you had to put them into highest to lowest, how would you do it? Highest price to lowest price. The swan, the shoe, and then this. And then the plate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The swan, the shoe, and then the plate. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about each one that you chose. Okay. Okay. This one says made in Japan. Right. Which means it has to be made after 1921, mm -hmm. which says that this particular piece made in Japan is marked with the country of origin in English. So it's not that old. Oh. Okay. That's first. Also, what's it made of? I don't know. It's heavy. It's heavy. So it's an earthenware ceramic, which is low fired, inexpensive, easy to make. Well, how much is it? How much is the number on it? Three dollars is probably a lot to pay for that. So that's oh. one. Okay, that was bad. Thank you <laughs> Good very try. much. Thank you. I would have bought it at twice the price. <laughs> okay. And then there's this one, which says it's made in Holland. So this is a piece that's trying to look like Delft. Yes, that's right? what I thought it might be. Okay, it's blue white china. Yes. Right in good condition yeah. and value on it is about 99 cents it's worth about 99 cents there's two okay here's the one you i saw you carry over because i was spying on you when you didn't know it <laughs> this is majolica which is lead glaze ceramic right it is made in england this part that you said oh isn't marked is actually a mark it's called a minton mark but you didn't recognize the mark and why would you not everybody knows all the marks okay and then this is the nice lead glaze it has some condition issues but value on this piece is about 65 dollars and you've got to be kidding me and it's the price tag is two dollars you've got to know what you're looking for because a lot of the times people in good stead are saying you know we want to donate we want to give it away to the thrift store that's wonderful the thrift store should get more for it if they can right right in a different environment perhaps if it were in very very good condition it's probably 100 bucks so i'm saying 65 based on other sales records where similar pieces have sold you'd be surprised at what you can find at a thrift store okay all right. Those are your three. All Here right. are the three that I found. I found that one. That was okay. one. All right. Right. I found this one, which is Stangle Pottery, which I picked up and I figured now it's cheap. It's from the 70s. It is from the 60s. Okay. So good eye with respect to the date. And it's made in New Jersey by one of the premier companies, Stangle. The pottery manufacturers are tr of Trenton. And it is a pattern that lots of people look for. It's $8. Value on it is about $35. Wow. Okay. okay. So still some money yeah. here. And the third one that I particularly found was something a little bit left of center, if you will. I looked at a little bag of marbles. These marbles, the cat's this one, eye. Yes. I had cat's eyes. These are called Lutz Swirls. And Lutz, L-U-T-Z, is a very, very well-known producer of marbles. Those two are Lutz marbles. They're $20 per marble in this box, in this little bag. How much is that bag? Does well, the whole bag is not filled with Lutz marbles. There's one, two, three, four, five. So there's at least $100 of marbles in here. For $2.50? got to know what you've got. If you can focus on a particular type of material, maybe it's ceramics, maybe it's glassware, maybe it's something else, 
and then get some information from Value This with Dr. Lori or my website, drlorev.com, you can actually learn a lot of what do I look for, which is what we're trying to teach you here. I love it. Dr. Lori, thanks so much. And your website again, give that. because drlorev.com, and we'll do more about how to spend smart here on Value This with Dr. Lori.